Hi there, students. Semiotics. Yeah, semiotics, an uncountable noun. Okay, semiotics is the study of signs and symbols, um, especially when they're used as a means of language or a means of communication. So I could go, okay, and you would interpret that as that's really good, or knowing that I'm English. In other languages, it might mean, in cultures, it might mean something different. So yes, your semiotic interpretation of, um, of what I've just shown you. Okay, so semiotics, the study of signs and symbols and what they mean and how they're used. And particularly with um, the relationship between the sign or the word used and the interpretation that the person hearing it or receiving it says. Um, let's see, words in themselves are are a sign they tell us information um, but we don't necessarily um, understand them all in the same way um, for example if i said the word red then most people are going to understand that clearly what i mean because people see um, colors more or less the same that is unless you're colorblind but if i said love we all might have different interpretations of that, okay? And semiotics is lo looking at this and looking at the relation between them, um, or looking at the relate uh, the um, way that we interpret signs, the study of signs and symbols as things in communication. Yeah, it's like analysis of systems of communication. You can also use semiotics, it's probably a bit old fashioned now, um, in medicine to talk about the study of symptoms, yeah, the symptomology. Um, so somebody has a disease and then uh, the symptoms that actually appear in this person. Um, this is also an, uh, another meaning of semiotics. But semiotics, th this is to do with uh, language and signs and uh, our relationship between signs and the world around us. Um, let's see, this word was first used by um, John Locke, who was uh, a 17th century English philosopher and a doctor, yeah, um, and uh, he he started this the, this idea of semiotics, the, uh, the 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 way we interpret the words we hear, the interpretation of the signs we see. Um, and this really is semiotics. Um, I also read, read a little bit about um, a phrase, semiotic democracy, which was uh, coined by a guy called John Fisk in the late 80s. Um, he said when somebody watches a television program, um, the viewers, each of the viewers interprets it in his own way and has his own view of what happened, even if it's very different from what the producer intended. Um, so the, the semiotic democracy, we all decide how we're going to interpret something. So for example, the law of laws of copyright and the right to republish something limit um, semiotic democracy because very often the sign or a picture or something is used to show or mean something else. So a sign that's well, that something that's well known can then be used in a different way. Um, and this is the idea of semiotic democracy, uh, reinterpreting of something, interpreting it in a different way. So semiotics, the, the study of signs and symbols, yeah, 
Um, there are lots of signs and symbols out there. Think about um, logograms and pictograms and things like that. These are all signs and symbols. The road signs that we see or um, trademarks. Yeah. Um, what does the this trademark mean to you? Yeah. Well, what does this come this logo mean to you? And you'll s see something and you associate things with it. So it's your interpretation of that sign. I'm thinking of a, a little alligator. Maybe you've got it on a shirt and you start to think about fashion. Um, OK, so this is the idea of semiotics. Um, so semiotics is it's um, a an uncountable um, formality. I would probably give this a 7.5 in formality. I think a lot of people who are not linguists are not going to know about um, semiotics. And um, John Locke uh, coined it from the ancient Greek word semiotikos, meaning uh, appropriate for marking, showing the future, um, to interpret as uh, a um, a sign or an indication of the future. Yeah, probably from semeon, a mark, a sign, a token. Um, sema, a mark or a sign. OK, so semiotics. You've got linguistics, which talks about the words we use and how we use these words. And semiotics, the process of communication of these words and how we interpret them. Uh, how we interpret the meaning of these things uh, for ourselves because normally we interpret the things that people say in different ways yeah two people may hear the same sentence and uh, semiotically interpret it completely differently so enough if you enjoyed the video give it a rating subscribe to my channel and I'll see you soon Bye for now. Semiotics.